All right, welcome. This is Nick Marine presenting Let's Learn Japanese. Of course, series for the self-study of Japanese from basics and beginnings up to your mitten, hopefully advanced. Uh, today, as usual, it's a Let's Read Japanese, so up above is going to be what I'll be reading. Um, audio of what I'll be reading, too. Off to the side is going to be the text of what I'll be reading, you know, to the audio. See something I don't know, I pause the audio, look it up in a pop-up dictionary. That is basic you can make it. And, of course, also I'll pause it and um, look at the and maybe catch up, maybe reread it, trying to make sure I'm comprehending what I'm seeing. The If you're just starting off, let's say you want to try something like this, there is a video player called Voracious, and if you can find an anime, or a drama, for that matter, you know, it's easy to find on Netflix, just get a, I think with Japanese VPN, or get a VPN so you can use the Jap or just do the normal Netflix shows, and make sure that you find a show that where the audio matches up with the Japanese subtitles. You know, so sometimes that's hard to find, especially with trans if they're translated um, yeah, uh, translated into Japanese. But the um, yeah, as long as they match up. And they actually get the English subs as well. So I think you, you know you use a program to download the video. You also use a program to download the subtitles of, in both English and Japanese. So with that I think you use a program called Voracious, which is a video player and um, you can kind of do what I'm doing, but instead of it being like at a text off to the side, like um, over here, since it's going to be it's going to be subtitles. But I believe if I understand Voracious correctly, um, you can be playing in Japanese. You can have it set to where it automatically pauses at the end of the timeline where that sub supposed to say the the sub supposed to be displayed right before it disappears. So it'll be playing. You can read it. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, boom. And then it's like, if you want to, you can replay that line. All right, cool. That's awesome. So you don't. You're basically doing a let's read like I'm doing here, but what Vresh can do is let you press a button and switch between the the and see what the equivalent English subtitle is. I think, and so it's not like the English subtitle is always there. It's just that you don't. Um, now, if it is, then maybe you can put it somewhere, have it covered up. But just so you're not always looking at the the English translation isn't always there. It's just there for when you need it, and and that's pretty good. Like especially when you're at the beginning levels where the entire sentence is really a complicated thing. So it's not just the individual words, it's the whole sentence as a whole. It's saying something you're not quite comprehending what's going, what's being discussed. And so it would be kind of cool that you see what the the, the sentence as a whole means. Um, uh, that's a really good thing when you're first starting off, when you're first starting off. Um, you know, uh, especially trying to get through your very first anime or drama or whatnot. So I don't, don't be, don't let, don't be hesitant to try something like that out. Because as you get better, you, it's not the sentence that's actually throwing it for you a loop. It's mainly just the words in it. And um, sometimes, sometimes it's a grammatical function. Like there's a, a phrase in there. So you you're actually are translating the phrase. But for the most part, the, the whole overall sense is, stops becoming the, the, the force that's uh, the, uh, your problem, your sticking point. It, is, it will be just the individual vocabulary. The, um, and... You know, the more you do that, then soon you can then graduate to doing something like I'm doing, where it's more like the the full text and reading to that. Again, that works out quite well. Uh, it's just a matter of what what you do when you first start off versus what you're like me in the intermediate stages of things versus what you do in the advanced stage. Advanced stages is like pure Japanese. Sometimes it's like, hey, you got to stop reading the audio, just freaking read. Here's the book, start reading. Um, Because you got to think back, especially if you're like me, where how many how many books have you read in your own language? And if you think about how much have you read in your own language, and it's like I would think ten thousand pages is a understatement. I mean, that, that is a lot of read because you know you read reading is just an everyday part of life. Uh, now you may not sit down and now if you're your reading may just be um, messages on a you know on Reddit or you know emails or. Skype or not Skype, sorry, uh, Twitter or whatever, you, whatever you're using to read. Like, hey, here's words and you're looking at it. You know, that's, you know, again, that's reading. And, you know, that's very similar to when it comes to listening. Now, and again, this is this is all kind of a, you're improving your listening because, hey, you've got the audio playing up above and then you've listened to it and you've read this, you've read the sentence, and you've looked up each individual word. So you kind of comprehend what the story is now at a much higher degree than if you just watched it raw. And so now you can watch it raw and get even more out of it. That's the idea. That's the hopes. And then later again, you just soon you just get rid of the whole idea of using sub Japanese subtitles altogether. It just watch it raw, um, especially if it's new shows where you can actually you're you're more willing to then watch new shows 
and consume those than if you're like me, a personality where it's very difficult to re-watch something. I'm, I'm just not the type that likes to sit down and look at something again. <laughs> just not my style. Um, all right, so a couple comments real quick. Lutsky, hi, hi, Nuke. Tom W., hi, Nuke. Hey, guys. Lutsky, I'm going to go through Take Him's book right now. I'm at the Now Related Particles, the No Particle, and was wondering, should I ignore all the kanji in book and just pay attention to what's being... Yeah, just ex pay attention to what's being explained. Don't try to use Take Him to learn vocabulary. That's what the Tango books are going to be doing. But the, uh, this is to help kind of get across what these how sentences in Japanese work. And again, take him. I like take him because he he explained it in a way that made sense to me. When he broke down this Japanese, if you look at them, just think of them as a bunch of particle phrases connected with with the verb at the end. Like think of it like a circle. The verbs in the middle of the circle. The verb could be like a, a number of things. It could be past verb, present verb, a negative verb, negative past verb, negative progressive, positive progressive, whatever. So that's the circle. And then every particle connects that circle. And it doesn't matter where in the circle you connect. The particle phrases, koen ni, tomodachi to, um, hash, um, yoru de, you know, at night, in the park, with my friend, walk the dog, you know, walk the dog, whatever. But the end is walked, you know, but everything else goes around that verb. So again, the um, with English, it's a bit more like the, the subject and the verb kind of go together, whereas in Japanese, there is a subject. Of a sentence, but there's also a topic of the sentence, and in in English we don't really we don't really think of topics so much as we do that in f paragraphs. Like a the first paragraph it should set up the topic, then three supporting sentences, and a concluding that leads into the next paragraph. I mean that's um, but in Japanese it's kind of like sentences are set up that way. There's a theme for what the the what is the topic of the sentence about. You know that doesn't mean it's the subject, like the actor that's the agent, the one who's having agency in the sentence, because that could be different. Um, so that's just how the, if you approach, if you understand sentences in that way, Japanese becomes much more approachable. Um, Kamen derudu, hello, ginki desu ka, hi ginki desu. Alright, so with that said, um, just a heads up, this is, let's read Japanese, so this is the final episodes I'll be doing for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, so episodes 25, 26. There's still about three other seasons left. I'm going to be watching, just not on a live stream. Uh, the Tomorrow, or the next day, depending, I'll be starting up with Harry Potter Book 3. And instead of, I've decided, like, instead of splitting it up into three parts, I'm going to split it up just in two parts. So roughly about uh, nine hours each. Which, because I looked at, like, some of the other novels I plan on reading in the future, and they're roughly about nine hours in size. And I, I didn't like the idea of splitting those up. So it's just like, okay, let's just... Instead of keeping it at six hour breaks, we'll do it at nine hour types. And so if, since Harry Potter is like two nine hour books put together, uh, as far as book three is concerned, and uh, go from there. The, uh, I also I was saying about a couple of weeks, I'll also start doing where I'll read the, I'll be getting the Let's Reads with starting off with the Yahoo News. So less of this blog stuff of me talking too much and being this like, hey, how are you doing guys? And then get right, right the fuck into it. And then at the half hour mark, that's when I switch over and actually do the let's read of the whatever's planned for the day. So yeah. So anyway, current plan is going to be Harry Potter starting tomorrow. It'll be half half of Harry Potter book three, Attack. Um, I'm sorry, Stein's Gate, and then the second half of Harry Potter book three, Attack on Titan. Then we move into the back into doing the normal Japanese dramas. The Japanese dramas. What I'm thinking of is first drama I'm going to attack is Netflix. Is it's on Netflix? Sorry. Um, the Terrace House, but the very first Terrace House, the one before it got onto Netflix, the first 26 episodes of those. Then I'm thinking of Konbini Ningen to um, Hibana. So those two books together, they come, they're actually two small books. I'm going to merge them together, so I'll be doing uh, both of those. So it comes out to about eh, seven or eight hours ish of audio. Um, so that. Yeah, so that'll be it. And then um, some stuff that's like Hanzo and Naoki, by the same, the author of Hanzo and Naoki series, because uh, he's done a few book series. So Hanzo and Naoki, um, Chitamachi Raketo, and I might be doing like um, No Side Game. So I might be doing those three books uh, for now, and then try to maybe find some other books as well um, by maybe different authors. But he's a pretty popular author, and so I'll probably be reading uh, quite a few of his books 
getting through that. Um, is there any page I can use to practice what Tay Kim teaches? I mean, there is, but don't sweat it. You're not about... Lose it for the exposure, and then that way you kind of... The reason why is so that when you're seeing these sentences in the Tango books, when you're learning vocabulary with the example sentences, the, the example sentences make a bit more sense. That's why. You're, you want to get away... You do, don't want to go into the idea like, oh, I need to know, like, can I take this grammar sentence and recreate it? Try to avoid that. Like, say, how do I say, I ate? Because there's lots of ways to say I ate in Japanese. <laughs> there's lots of ways to say that. Um, so you don't want to get in the idea like there's only one way of doing it. That very, there's very few one-to-ones when it comes to um, English and Japanese. At, at the extreme, the one, most one-to-one, the most common would be at most. At most usually is the, uh, is the nouns. You know? And even then, they, you usually find two nouns that represent the same concept. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and when I'm saying like different ways you can say I ate in Japanese um, it's just that you know you, you can do it's levels of politeness and then if you add in extra things that can you know just kind of add a bit more character as to the way you, you, you happen to speak that's that's why there's different ways and they're all correct you know and it's you know, it, it sounds super like, here, say you ate as if you are a servant talking to your master, but you're a female servant, and your master is a king in the 1800s. You know, it, you know, it's, you can do, just by the way a sentence read, you can almost infer, you know, the gender of the speaker, the rank or level, social level of the listener, uh, and some other thing, and even the time period. I mean, just... Sometimes, I mean, just, so, I mean, that's how, you know, you don't want to go into that level of detail, but that's where the exposure comes through, where, hey, start reading a bunch of Japanese, you, you start figuring this stuff out, like how people talk in the 1800s versus modern day versus um, 1300s. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, with that said, let's uh, get started. So I'm just going to start with Anki, do that to about... So if you wanted to come back at the 30 minutes, so about 18 minutes or so, I'll be starting up on the Let's Read, or um, skip to the 30-minute mark, I'll be... That's why I'll be up on the Let's Reads. Although, truth be told, they've been going to the 40-minute mark, because reasons. Okay, so yeah, this number is slowly getting down. I'm, I'm doing, going down to multiples of 50, so last night I got it down to 650. Today I'll get it down to 600 blah 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 these are not difficult just that um, since I did redo the kanji decks it kind of made sense to where to me to kind of look at some of the a lot of the kanji that I had suspended for a while and just to see what they look like and so far they've been pretty good maybe one case where there was no hiragana there was no um, furigana for a particular word in the set but all the work there were like all the others had examples, and it, it worked fine because it still it was still there for the main purpose of um, what does that word mean? Because I had that offered as well. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's by no, you mean like, do I know a kanji not only do I know how to write it from memory? Do I know words that use that kanji? And then, yeah, roughly about fifteen hundred. Um, if you meant how many kanji do I know how to write from memory, you're approaching two thousand or more. Yeah, ish. So. Don't don't sweat that. It it really doesn't matter too much. Okay, traffic. There we go. Oh, oh. Find the camera there, dude. There we go. Traffic. It's okay. All right. So we got Hutsu, normal, Tori, uh, to traverse the street or road, Toru, pass through something, Kayo to. Attend, attend something. Go. Mm. Uh, tsugaku, that's. Tsugaku, what is that? Going to school. Okay. Yeah. Kotsujiko. Kotsujiko, that's just a traffic accident. Alright, cool. Next. Hello. Alright, new atarashi. Stand on the tree, cut it down with your new axe. And there we go. Sheen. Okay, so we got Atarashi, good, Shinbun, newspaper, Shinkansen, bullet train, Shinnen, um, it's a new year, right? Yeah, new year. 
Goshin. Goshin, what is that? Renewal. Hmm, okay, that's good. Arata, what is it? New and fresh. Hmm, okay. Cool beans. Water, Bizu. Cool. Uh, there. Actually, it, it shouldn't have been. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to connect. It's, you know, that, that third stroke isn't really connected all that much. You can kind of tell, like, right there. A few of them they are. All right, anyway, sorry. Mizu, good. Suyobi, Wednesday. Suido, water. Tap water, yeah. Suye, Suye, that's swimming, right? Yeah, swimming. Mizuki, swimsuit. Um, Suizokan. Suizokan, that's an aquarium, right? Yeah, aquarium. All right, awesome. Es Esquire. <laughs> I like, this is Sama. Beauty Preston Esquire. It's not Mizu, it's rice at the bottom. Okay, cool. Alright, Mina Sama, Konnichiwa! Sama Sama, ladies and gentlemen. Um, state of. Sama Sama, various, okay. Doyo, Doyo, similar, same as. Yosu, uh, your condition, right? Yeah, condition state. Moyo, Moyo, that's similar to, right? That's a pattern design. Moyo. Oh, yeah, show it to Moyo. Kami Sama, God. Alright, cool. Private. Watashi? And for the longest time, I thought, hey, how come this isn't like, uh, um, I like why, why is he calling it private but then you learn like all the words that use this and it would have made sense all right there we go cool so we got watashi me watashi tachi we shiritsu that's there we go private institution shitetsu private railway shio private business shihi private expenses so if if Hazig had included kind of like example words they didn't he didn't have to give the pronunciation if he had just given just this part here without saying what they how to pronounce them just giving that I think his book would have been really amazing as to give um, you know why this kanji has this particular this particular keyword because these last four words make sense for private you know but the only time you're gonna hear early on watashi is you know why you're learning Japanese of your first exposure for for a while is as the pronoun all right anyway so we got some more comments uh, most Japanese no oh, bullshit. <laughs> Common de, de, doo doo. Most Japanese know three thousand kanji easily. All right, they can read perfectly fine. If you ask a Japanese person to write kanji from memory, yeah, now you're running into problems. But they know kanji perfectly fine. Their literacy rate is beyond what anything in the U.S. All right. Next up, Bluski. What is the relationship between kanji and actual words? I think of kanji as emoji, so if you see a picture of a dog, you think dog, you mean, so you can replace all the words of dog with the image of a dog, for example, that's one way of doing it. And then also we learned with emojis, you can have them represent ideas in groups. That's one way of looking at it. Um, they can't write. <laughs> I have Japanese say, okay, great, that's one example. Japanese people can write fine. They can, they can write fine. Sorry, <laughs> calling bullshit on that. Uh, okay, to the left. Uh, cool. Okay. Hidari, hidari te, hidari gawa, sayu, left and right. Hidari, hidari kiki, that's left handed, right? Left handed, okay. Sayoku, sayoku. Left wing, cool. Alright, sayoku. Okay, defeat, makeru. Make sure this, yeah, makeru. got to be careful about that because there's a loss and there's defeat. Yeah, defeat. There we go. So we got makeru futan. Okay. Make, defeat. Shobu, conflict, game match. Okay. Fusho. Which we heard. Oh, the barrel one's back. Awesome. Roadway. Michi. Okay. Mr. Do of Aikido. Judo. So we got Michi Road, Dodo, Road Street, Suido, Tap Water, um, Odo, that's a walk, sidewalk, right? Yeah, sidewalk. Uh, Kata Michi, One Way, and Shadow, that's also Road. Okay, Tool, Gu. Um, 
make sure about this. Guai. Yeah, there. Gutai Teki. Dogu. There we go. Awesome. All right, so we've got Guai, your condition, Gutai Teki, and examples, or hardcore, concrete specific. Um, Bubo, Bumbogu. Uh, am I drawing a blank? Is that calligraphy? Stationary. Okay, stationary writing. Um, hik, hikiogu. Hikiogu. Feels like writing stuff. Pens and pencils. Hikiogu. Okay, good. Dogu. That's the equipment, right? Yeah, tools, equipment. Kagu. Household. Furniture. Yeah. Uh, awesome mask. Now, this one's an interesting kanji. It's one of those unusual. But if you look at it, it looks like you have an I written within an I. Right there. So you kind of see it's like the I written on its side with an I standing up inside of it. Uh, yeah, okay. Omoshirai. <laughs> Interesting. Mendo. Com uh, difficult. Mensatsu. Mensetsu. What's mensetsu? Is that an interview? Interview. Okay, good. Majime. Hardworking or serious. Yeah, serious. Sen menjo. That's a bathroom, right? Yeah, washroom. And men. That's your face. Also, night here is a suda. Um. No, I don't. I don't do shodo. I don't care about it. I mean, it looks beautiful and all. It's just not something that helps you learn Japanese, um, right? Okay. Because um, they, like I saw on Japanese television, there was a guy who was really good at calligraphy, but he didn't speak or read Japanese at all. He just could recreate the characters quite well. So, um, and this is an American that was uh, trying to get. You know, they usually do some stuff for TV shows for cultural reasons. So, like, somebody wants to come to Japan because they're really into calligraphy, so they paid to have them flown here and then took them to all the places, like how to make a calligraphy brush, how to make the stone tablet that you use to make the ink. Um, you know, how to, he made, made his own paper that you would use to draw on. You know, all, all these things that went into calligraphy that, again, has nothing to do with learning Japanese. That's more of a cultural thing. <clears throat> anyway, bright. Like, or explanation, something like Setsume, explanation, Ashita, tomorrow, Akurui, bright, yeah, cheerful, Asate, day after tomorrow, um, Akiraka, clear, clear, obvious, Akiraka, Meikaku, Meikaku, clear, specific, cool, substitute, um, this is Dai, right? Yeah, Dai. This is, wrote it really badly, <laughs> I wrote that character badly. There we go. Okay, die. Uh, Batman and the Green Arrow. Uh, Jidai. Kawaru. Uh, substitute for. Daiyo. That's your uh, ex exchange uh, representatives. Okay. Um, Kawarini. Exchange. Kaiyo. Change. Gendai. That's uh, recent times, right? Present day modern age. Cool. Long. Nagai. Naga. Again, looks ugly. Nagai. Nagai. Chonan, oldest son. Nagasa, length. Jo, Shacho, yeah, president. Kaicho, company chairperson. Chojo, oldest, do um, oldest daughter. Cool. Uh, shape, Katachi. Make sure, right? Yeah, Katachi. So, Katachi Keishiki. Keishiki. Okay. Ningyo doll. Se Keise. Keise. Formation. Okay. Keoshi. Adjective. Okay. Sankake. San. Mm. Shibiki. Sankake. Mm. Right. Sankake. Yeah, okay. No big deal. Alright. Uh, quick question. Hello. Did you start by hiragana before kanji? Yeah. Yeah. Um, technically. I do recommend, by the way, learn hiragana katakana, which only takes like six hours to learn, six to ten hours to fully learn and memorize how to write those con those hip those kana. They're not that difficult. Okay. Um, then after that, again, learn a thousand most common words, preferably from the Tango in five books. Okay. After that, learn the five hundred most common kanji, preferably RTK order. Again, I've got the decks for it. This deck is an example of that. Um, yeah, but I do recommend um, Hiragana Katakana first. Going near, Chikai. Okay, 
近く近いこう OK 近く近い最近 recent 近所 nearby neighborhood OK 近づ,近づく come close 近寄るってさ approach here OK こう art、um, 術 OK this is also Mistake, forgot that one little stroke. All right, shujutsu, yeah, surgical operation, bijutsu con. That's a uh, it's like an art museum, right? Yeah, art museum. Gijutsu, that's a, t a technology, right? Skill technology. Geijutsu, that's uh, like a geisha performing arts, yeah, arts and crafts. Bijutsu, bijutsu, fine arts. Majutsu, that's magic, right? Magic sorcery. Majutsu. Majutsu. <laughs> Renkin Jutsu. There we go. Also, Renkin Jutsu. Yeah, full Metal Alchemist. Um, uh, village. Muda. Um, God damn it. I am. I'm changing this. No. All right, that's that's one major complaint with Hazek is that he, for some reason he decided to. Do, oh, let me go back. Machi Shitamachi downtown. Uh, Machi Hazure, outskirts of town. Okay, Machi Machi Hazure. Machi Naka. Machi Naka. That's throughout town. Yeah, in the town. Uh, Machi Nami. Machi Nami. The look of a street. Okay. Spirit too high. Where are you from? Um, currently living in Japan. I'm um, from the U.S. Okay, cool. All right, month, getsu. There we go. <laughs> this is like super simple stuff. Yeah, this is like the, what, 12th kanji you learn. Tsuki, kongetsu, getsu yobi, maituki every month, sengetsu, last month, shogatsu, the new year. Shogatsu, good. Okay, dark, hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you. Alright, sun and sound. Wait, could I? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright, so could I, Makura, uh, to could I ask Lumi. Uh, Anki, oh, Anki. <laughs> there we go. My, uh, memorize. The program I'm using is Anki. Uh, Anji, what's Anji? Oh, hand suggestion. Cool. Ansatsu, that's a, that's a murder or assassination, right? Assassination. Uh, correct. Toe the line. Tadashi, Takashi. Alrighty, here we go. Make sure this is Tadashi, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Tadashi, good. Shogatsu, New Year. Um, Shojiki, truth, honest, upright. Seikaku, correct. Accurate, precise. Seikaku. Shogo, Shogo, that's noon, precisely, right? Yeah, precisely noon. And um, Kaisei, Kaisei, revision amendment, fair enough. Cool. Uncommon. Uh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's see. I want to say it's this. Yeah. And that's like Field and Noah's Ark. Um, okay, Kotonaru, to defer about something. Ijo. Unusual. Usual nashi, nothing unusual. Isei, uh, the opposite sex. Okay. Okay. Ido, reshuffling, shifting. Ido. Tokui, tokui, peculiar, unique. Okay. Itan, heresy. Oh, that was popped up in um, f like the second episode of this uh, series. Itan. Parent. And just a reminder, like again, I don't care. If I know or don't know these words down here, they're for context only, just for context to get more. 
That's why, again, the only thing missing is the kanji. All right? Um, I'm giving you the pronunciation. I'm giving you what they mean. I'm giving you everything else except for that one kanji that's in it. And so it's not about memorizing it. It's about if you've already learned the word and you forgot what parent is, or you might have said there's like a, quite a few kanji that refer to parents. Now it's like, oh, okay. Um, in this case, it's oya, so... Bless you. Moikai. There we go. But anyway, oh yeah. Yoshi, both parents. Shin said you kind. Shitashi, uh, intimate. Haha, oh yeah, mother. Chichi, oh yeah, father. Cool. Color, Ido. That's one I think of as Rubik's Cube. Iro, Kiro, yellow, Chairo, brown, Iro, Iro, various, Kiro, 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 yellow, E. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're both colors. And one is yellow, Kiro, as in, like, think of the concept, one is describing something as yellow. So, adjective, now. All right, anyway, Keshki, that's the horizon or scenery, landscape, there we go. Cool. Scribe, Ki, Niki, word snake. Smartphone and Lord Voldemort, if you want. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Niki Diary, Kiroku, to record something. Kinembi, that's a special day and a commit Memorial Day. Okay, Gi Kiji, Kiji, that is Kiji, article story. Okay, good. Kiyoku should be a um, memory, right? Memory remembrance. And then, um, that's not the only Kiyoku, but, hmm. Okay. And then Keisha, that should be a, a journalist, right? A reporter. Awesome. What are we doing on time? Okay, we're over the 30 minute mark. I apologize. Let me do one more. Soil. Um, Gimli, Lord of the Rings? Uh, okay, I can see that. Okay, sure. As a visual. Reason is for Hobbit, I use something a little differently, but yeah. You don't. I really haven't used, I just used dirt. But. Actually, the reason why a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff pop up is because I, you know, was a fan of Lord of the Rings at the time, the the movies at the time I started learning kanji. And so a lot of these uh, primitives, I like, for example, this one is, like I use that as Gandalf, because you know, of walking, so I imagine with a walking stick. So this is one here with Gandalf. Over mouth is like when he's actually on the f travels with Frodo, talking to Frodo as he's walking along. That's just the visual I use there. And then for Frodo or the other um, there, so I use that for Hobbit. So a little dirt on legs, but like it, there's two types of um, like this would be Frodo of the Shire, and there might be some other stuff. Um, the as for example, or like this would be a good one is. Like, I use Green Arrow now, but that could have been Legolas, because it's bow and arrow. Um, what's another one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this one should be obvious. You know, if it's that right there, that would have been Treebeard. But now I think, you know, Groot is more fun if you've known the Marvel movies. So, like, from Guardians of the Galaxy, so Groot would be a more, more fun primitive to use for tree. Same as I use the Green Arrow, because of the CW series, the Green um, Arrow. So that, that, for the visual for me, that works better than Legolos. Um, you know, actually I use a lot more comic book characters just because, especially because of the Marvel movies. You know, Iron, Iron Man, obviously Iron. Superman for power. Batman is person. Wonder Woman for woman. Um, and it just, <laughs> just makes creating these visual stories you need to memorize kanji that much easier. Uh, just depends on how you want to look at it. All right, cool. That's done. Let's get uh, Dex. Okay, so I did 25 cards. Yeah, I know. I'll be fit. again. I, I do all this. All my reviews I do offline. I don't. I used to do it on live stream, which was okay and all. I mean, it, yeah, I need to do it on my own. <laughs> uh, uh, like kind of like I need to do these readings of stuff on my own, and I'm not. I'm kind of like using the live stream as the excuse to do it. It's not a good. It's better. It's a better habit would just be doing it. Don't try to go through all this whole process 
this complicated process, but that's me, that's my personality. I'm more likely to do something if I'm doing it for another person, even though in a way it helps myself. Um, Alright, let's start. Actually, then let me add. So here are the Tango books, and I'll be doing Tango in tune eventually, but I'm not going to study Tango in two so much as go through it. And kind of like, maybe, I'll, hopefully, by the time I get to it, I'll know most of the words. So I'm just, one, I'll be fixing errors that I find. And the other is that I'll be um, you know, may, catching any words I may not have known at the time. So that's the main reason. And then I'll do the very similar thing with the M1. Because uh, I, I do think now these decks are good for starting off, like read, do ahead of time. You know, the front load. Basically, it's called front loading. Uh, to prepare yourself for the reading. And then when you start the reading, that's when you're really going to be learning stuff. Like, because it's going to be internalized. So it's now it's truly, in, it's truly learned. Um, as opposed to this. But like kanji is one of those, one of those things where you're not writing every day. You should be handwriting every day anyway. So probably the only time you should be worried about writing a kanji from memory is then through Anki. So it's there if and whenever there comes a time you do need it. It's already in your head, thanks to Anki. Um, but you do find out, like, also, is it <laughs> because I handwrite words out when I learn the words. So a lot of these kanjis I've written, I've written out plenty of times because they appear in words. <laughs> you know, so I'm writing them out because of the words. But again, I'm not writing out words all the time either. I only write out word when I learn it. So soon, soon you're just not writing kanji all that often. So there may be a word or two, like you forget, like, what, you know, if you saw it, you know it. But you just can't remember, like, what kanji it's supposed to be. <laughs> so that's where, again, Anki is kind of can be useful at um, for the stuff that you know you're not going to be doing every day that can be useful it's still a useful skill to have um, to, to have be able to recall the so that's why you know you can imagine when it comes to vocabulary like you could probably get rid of a lot of the vocabulary stuff um, especially anything that's reading related just because you know you're going to be seeing it every day <laughs> especially these common words all these other stuff you know, in a month's time, you've probably seen all those words multiple times. You know, I could probably do, you could probably calculate how often. Uh, all right, let's get started. All right, we're on chapter 25, we're way down here. Look at that, all the way near at the bottom. Man, there we are. Um, yep, okay. All right, awesome. Alright, turn on the microphone. You can still hear me, but lightly. And is this on? Yeah, okay, it's on. Let's do it. なんだ。なんならホテルのルームサービスのメニュー全部行ってやろうか。よし、本物だ。そっ。しかさ、偽物じゃないだろうな、この豆。豆。豆。あれが豆すぐ。あれが豆すぐ。<笑><笑><笑><笑> しかし、ここはどこだ。確かあの時グラトニンにパックリ飲まれて。パックリ。
見ろよさっきまで俺たちがいた廃屋だそれにこっちは注意の車<笑>そこいらの火もおそらく大佐のじゃないのかの腹の中わからんろくでもない場所だってことだけは確かだろうけどろくでもないろくでもない場所だってことだけ帰るぞどうした、うん、レイこれあるのか手だけってことはアルは飲まれてないんだよかった心配してるだろうなはいて、てなき成長てな、てなき、てなき成長あ、ヘイヌーク、how you doing? quick question that deck that you showed do you have a link for it or is it for personal use only? um, I currently I'm not, I haven't shared it yet but it's mainly for the Patreon users for members of my Patreon uh, the I'll also share it to anyone who has, you know, modest proof of ownership of the RTK decks. Uh, RTK book, sorry. So if you own the book, RTK book one, then yeah, I'll give you a link to the deck for no, no problem. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's telepathy? Telepathy. Telepathy. <laughs> telepathy. <laughs> 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 そもそも出口はあるのかここ知らんなけりゃ作る作るってどこによ,よし火をくれなるほどなどれ<笑>そこに当たる音がしない壁だ壁探そう見つかりませんでした。野良犬にでも食われたんじゃないのか野良犬野良あーあー嘘ごめん<笑>あの子シャオメイは生まれつき病気で。大きくなれなかった大クマネコなんです。パンダ、クマネコ。うん、オッケー、クマネコ。大クマネコなんです。親に捨てていかれたのを私が拾って、以来姉妹のように育ってきました。私の一族、チャン族は新国の中でも。権力なんてないに等しい等しいどうしい最下層の一族なんです
lowest levels of society, right? Say, say, cause all, say, cause all, say, cause all. Takara desu ka ne? Tachiba no yowai mono doshi. Kikare atta toyu ka. うん。最初は同情だったのかもしれません。でも家族同然に暮らしてきて。苦労を一緒にしてきて私にとってかけがえのない存在になったんですかけがえかけがえのないあの子がいたから耐えられたことも砂漠越えも、あの子がいたから乗り越えられたんです。いや、そもそも越えてくる必要ねえんじゃ。うん。なんで不老不死なんてわけわからないもんのために、わざわざ。不老不死の法を持ち帰らないと。皇帝陛下
こんなところで<笑><笑> けど、おめえにも待っているやつがいるんだろ。つうか。喋る体力を。せめて食い物だけでもあれば。してか。革製品ってこれ。水虫。ああ、水虫。何が俺を被ったばっかりに。別に学院時の修行に比べりゃ大したことねえし。学院時。学院時の。うん。おいやいや、they're とりあえずピンションしてるおかげで出口は探せるし。ピンション。ピンションしてるおかげで出口は探せる。前向きだな。生きることにねちっこいだけだ。ちっこいやつよ。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。しつこい。
生き残ってんのはもうなんじゃ残念だけど。ケベツ。あ、出口なんてないよ。うん。とに余計なことしてくれた。このエンビーまで芋づるだよ。芋づる。ルタウサ。ここはどこなんだ。やっぱりグラトニーの腹の中なのか。腹の中であり腹の中じゃない、うん、鋼のおち<笑>錬金術師さんはここがどこか気づいてるんじゃないかい錬金術師さんはどこかなそういやグラトニーに飲まれた瞬間あの感覚どこかで覚えがあるだろうあんた過去に経験してんだから It's a doorway of truth. Then, I saw a common condition. Look at the Masiroi Kugani, Tobira Gaute. Eh, Homono was on the Bashananda. Homono? Gratoni, Oto Samanga, Scut, the Sindhi, no Tobira, no Spice Axa. の力を持ってしても作れなかった作れなかった真理の扉の出来損ない出来損ない目指したものができないって Weakness 欠陥が当たり違いが ここは現実と真理の狭間といったところかな。狭間。出口も出る方法もありはしない。力尽き寿命が尽きるのを待つだけだ。みんなここで死を待つしかない。Full metal <笑> けたこと言ってんじゃねえぞ。エメ、おい。出口がないだと。ここで死ぬ。おい、おい、待てよ。俺が死んだら、あるはどうすんだよ。約束してんだよ。二人で元に戻るって。扉だとか作るだとかそもそもお父様ってそれだブラッドレー大騒動か I like that he does Oh yeah back to the point Hey who the hell is your father? ブラッドレー違うねあいつはただのホムンクルスさやはりか第五研究所
人の命を使った賢者の石本を狂す There's still pride we haven't seen he was just talking to the light it's probably another one let's see what were they supposed to be so it was like um gluttony lust gluttony lust greed gluttony lust greed wrath envy pride what's that other one ダイソーということは。イシュワルセモキサマロガ。イシュワル。あれほど愉快な仕事はなかったね。That's pleasure, right? あれほど愉快な仕事はなかったね。知ってるかい？あの内乱が起こったきっかけを。確か軍の将校が一種ばバルの子供を誤って殺したってそうこのエンビーが子供を撃ち殺した張本人陽気さんから聞きましたイシュバールのことは気持ちよかったねあれは弾丸一発でみるみる内乱が広がって弾丸弾丸弾丸一発でいるいるあんなんだよいや本当に爽快だったよ。うん最下位最下位だった。ああちなみにねこのエンビーが化けたのは。イシュワールへの軍事介入に反対していた穏健派の将校イシュワール軍事派に軍事介入に反射していた穏健派穏健派将校そいつさ言い訳すらできず軍法会議で裁かれちゃってね。軍法会議。軍法会議
That should be justice, right? Judge. ちょっとね。本当に人間ってやつは怪しいらしい生き物だよ。ちの故郷も壊して。ふるさと故郷。大丈夫です。はい。はい、どうも。故郷も。西原人もやって。スカートという復讐記を生み出して。スカートという復讐。鬼復讐鬼。復讐鬼。あいつの運命の両親を奪った元凶。元凶。元凶。奪った元凶。なんだとこいつビクトム。わずかにはステルピクトモうんピクトモやるかガキどもエロ引けどうせここで全員死ぬんだ That's in darkness, right? That's the place. Oh, Medo. 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 あんななりで半端じゃない体重ってことだ。So not complete power. あんな半端じゃない体重ってことだ。うん。あいつ本体はかなり。おで。どうしたらいい。知らないよ。どうしよう。おで、お父様に怒られる。お父様。父親がいるの。いるよ。いるよ。ホムンクルスを作った人。作ったよ。
何かカラクリカラクリ伊藤千枚水野の道場よく決めたんだ僕が諦めてどうするグラトニー僕を連れて行けその父親のところへいいよお前人柱だもんねどうしてるのああそうさ僕は人柱さ人柱ってなんだその件について現在確認済みなのはその件について So that's at the catching up to the next plot point、um, Let's see real quick 8PW Cloud Is that the way you're learning Japanese? That's amazing、um, I'm learning Japanese at different ways This is the way in which I'm Far away you get better in Japanese is to Watch a lot of Japanese and read a lot of Japanese. So, this is the way I'm having to do that because I'm doing it with lookups. So, if I don't know something, I look it up real quick.、Um, hey, so, say, Cho said, Hey, Nuke, sadly, gotta go. Go work for tomorrow for it. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and don't, I don't think you really need to catch the streams anyway. It's just, it's just me having fun. So, I don't think you know, it really gives you anything, any benefit beyond, you know, some people watch just because they have something in the background to listen to. Um, Kamenduru, I asked Japanese man how to write ambulance. He can't write what QQ s h a k They can write QQ s h I'm sure. You mean like. QQ show. Really ugly, sorry about that, but yeah. <clears throat> Just make sure, like, does Q, which Q goes first? So it's like. Mitomeru. Okay. Yeah.、Uh, anyway, so anyway, let's see what, make sure. Right. Yeah, so don't worry about that. Again, that's just a. Plus, again, you don't need to know how to handwrite Japanese to get better at Japanese. So don't worry about, and don't worry about. Don't let the fact that maybe a native can't write Japanese that well to say, like, oh, you don't have to worry about kanji. Again, don't worry about what they can handwrite. Worry about what they can read. And they can read, like, stuff up to 3,000 words. Because, again, just look at just a regular, just a, a manga that's aimed, or, or a、um, light novel that's aimed at someone who's just 13 years old. And you look at it, it's like, it's definitely got, like, kanji all over the place、um, of all sorts of levels of rarity. All right, anyway, let's、uh, keep going. Anyway, so let's see. So, no ken ni tsuite. Gen. Genzai. Sonzai. Genzai. Genzai. Kokuni. Kokuni sumi. Eric Kyodai no futari. Eric Kyodai no futari. Marco ishi wa douda. Marco ishi wa douda. So, 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 so. Kimberly wo iru ga. Kimberly. あれは扉を開けるような神経は持ち合わせとらんよ。そういえば、もう一人の人柱候補である。ま、oh yeah, so they're doing this. Like, they're, this is like completely perfect. そういえば、もう一人の人柱候補。アスタング君は。大総統が。ゆっくり話したいとおっしゃられてな。Yeah, they all freaking know about it. Okay. なぜ私を生かしておくのですか。君の立場を理解させるためだ。いつから軍はホムンクルスに神戸を垂れたのですか。
小部を垂れれた小部を垂れれたのですかこの国が生まれた時から仕組まれていたことだよ仕組む its foundings、okay. 仕,組仕組まれていたことだよずっと我々のあがきを見て北総園でいたわけですか北総,北総園で北総園でいた北総北総園物事を思い通りの結果になったこと属してとりあえずチョコそこ園でそこ園でいたわけですか、うん、ヒューズ純正の葬儀で純正の葬儀で震えていたあなたの手あれは偽りだったのですか偽りあれは偽りだったのですかたかが軍人一人の死に誰も彼も騒ぎすぎる誰も彼も軍服が死に装束になる可能性があることぐらい起こって軍服が死に装束軍服が死に装束軍服が死に装束になる可能性があることぐらいうんっていたことだろうに<笑>ヒューズ純正の子葬儀の最中やがましいことこの上なかった。この上なかった。うん。うん。実に腹が立ったよ。あなたにも子供がいたはずだ。よくもそのような。セリムのことか。あれはよくできた子だ。尊敬すべき父親がホムンクルスだと知ったらどうなるか尊敬すべきすべき尊敬すべき父親がホムンクルスだと知ったらどうなるかうん脅しかねうん脅し、うん、脅しかね無駄なことだあれは私にとっての弱点にはなりえんよ、うん、だが君は違う彼女は君の弱点になりうるうんかい法会注意どうしたのさっき人事局の人が来ました人人事局さっき人事局の人が来ました自分,自分南方司令部勤務を言い渡されました南方司令部勤務何ですって自分だけではありませんブレダ少尉は西方司令部へ、うん、ファルマン順位は北方司令部へ転任が決まったそうです。Mm. Yep, they're being broken. They're breaking up the band. オークアイ注意だね。はい。これ注意だね。人事局のヤコブレフだ。ブレフ。ヤコブレフ。人事局。私は<笑>大相当付き補佐のシュトルヒだ。大相当付き補佐。ああ、知りたいです。補佐。え、シェビアアシスタント。サプリメンタリーアシスタント、right? 
Katawara, that's when she will do it. Ski, yes, help assistance. Okay. Ski, Osa. Ski, Osa. Yeah. Shitoru. Shitoru, he died. Who そうだ。廃墟します。廃墟します。これは何ですかこれは何ですかこの愛じゃねえってのは。あ、全く<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> いい<笑><笑> 2、3本。2、3本やった。あら、ぼ、あら、あばら、ぼね。ね、ツリブズ、あばらぼね。ね、ユルブズ、あらぼね。いや。あばらぼね。あばらぼね、2、3本。2、3本だ。俺も似たよう
Okay, um, yeah, we're down to two viewers now. It's, uh, usually how these live streams work is like you get some viewers at the end, at the beginning and more viewers at the beginning at the end for some reason. I don't know, like, like they almost know that um, I'm a, uh, like, I guess when I'm actually talking to the camera, then that's when people start showing up. So I don't know if like something like people are just kind of like randomly clicking on videos that are up, like are active on Twitch and then they see like someone's actually talking as opposed to me just like quietly sitting in the corner and then you know anime and you know anime's playing above all that text is on the side of me just occasionally pausing not, but not saying anything so I'm guessing that part people will kind of ignore but if it's like me looking at the camera talking then all of a sudden people will like pay attention for I guess that's just how it works I don't know uh, it's a twitch thing probably the um yeah the It is such a really fun storyline. I, I mean, I have no idea where they're going with it. I mean, they're showing, like, yeah, the upper ranks know exactly what type of person Bradley is. And they, don't, they don't care. They're actually helping. They're actually assisting. So they, this isn't, like, done... This is done, like, in the darkness of the average person. But something tells me, like, you know, you could kind of convince the average person this is actually a good way to go. I mean, they're willing to, you know... Are you willing to use like soldiers and prisoners? You're willing to put them on the front line to get, you know, take die for bullets, but you don't want to like they can't die for creating a, a weapon that'll actually kill the enemy more effectively. You know, you can kind of you can kind of see how some people can slowly get turned over that the idea of like you know sacrifices. Um, if you could take the life of one person to defeat three thousand people on the enemy side, you know, is that a worthy sack now and again that's one of those things where people will like they will publicly say no of course not one life's not worth the not worth that and then but privately they'll be like yeah okay oh yeah they'll definitely do that there are some people with that mentality and um what i don't like is like is <laughs> when you start using humans in that way they stop becoming human they're now they're becoming either slaves or things or you start thinking of them as objects and then with that mindset, then it, it's just the first step. Why like, it just it doesn't matter. You you look at all humans like that, not just the ones that you want to use as that type of of um, tool. So there's like that's the reason why you say you have to have taboos. You have to have certain things like you don't go beyond like this. Okay, look, yeah, we we're gonna have conflict and whatnot. We're gonna have death. We're gonna have destruction. But there there are, there are steps that we don't go beyond. And um, yeah, later in the future, if you can prevent the all wars, that's great. But it's like, okay, we can't prevent it. It's going to happen. But let's just like make sure when it happens, there are like um, the people in charge, you know, make sure yeah, make sure that like, hey, there are steps we don't go beyond. If anyone goes beyond, they're going to be punished harsh to ensure like, hey, no one goes beyond it. As opposed to let's say you have a a leader that will be like, hey, say, yeah, this is against the law, but if you break it, well, I just might let you go off. You know, let's ignore it. Um, then that that turns into more a bit more of a fascism. Where uh, all of a sudden they're it, you're you're basically at the you're living at the whims of people in power, and that's a that's a very difficult way of living. It's like when you're living at the, where this it's a sort of death is dangling over your head, like that, where you have to watch what you say, or you're immediately uh, can be used. And now all of a sudden it's like oh they can make up something or just flat out kill you, and then nothing stops. There's no repercussions for it. So you got to be really. Uh, so we got a society that falls beyond that. Like all of a sudden, they they don't look at human life as they, as anything more more than just a means to an end. Then that's going to become a very very dangerous society that will do anything. And th those are the types of societies you kind of have to. I mean, when you destroy it, I mean you don't have to destroy the people, but yeah, you almost have to destroy the upper echelons of leadership because the entire thing is almost corrupted. Because. <laughs> um, the problem with corruption is when you give into corruption a little bit, then that person is, you know, kind of basically corrupt. I mean, maybe to a smaller degree, and it's like it's easy to then corrupt them further. You know, once you give them a taste, you know, or they say like if you're gonna, if you gotta be, if you gotta eat the poison, you might as well eat the. If your if your food's poisonous, might as well eat the whole plate. One of those lines, like, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound would be another one where they go basically. I, I don't think people are that bad. Like, 
you know, like they might say kill one person with regret, but they'll do it. But that doesn't mean they'll become a mass murderer. But once you've made that first kill, that second one is th that much easier. So you got to be, so that's when it comes with when you're trying to train killers. Um, with corruption, though, it's like, again, that's not necessarily about killing people. It's just like the use of power. And, you know, you kind of see it here. And you say, well, okay, this is an anime. But, you know, we've seen in real world examples of how you, know, you can corrupt. And you don't need that many people. You don't need to corrupt that many. You know, just enough. You can put in positions of power and, and to ensure and then they then start slowly start corrupting. And then they, they get the people who they, their go-to guys. Basically, they get their go-to guys. Um, and... You know, you get rid of those that aren't the go-to guys anymore, and then slowly you can, you can transform. You know, you can be done quite quickly, but you can transfer something that was like worked for the people to all of a sudden is working, not not against people, but they instead they work for themselves and then use the people as a means to an end. Um, very, very dangerous, <laughs> and uh, it can happen. It happens, so it's not like oh this will never happen. No, no, it it can happen. Maybe not you individually, but unfortunately you're. You're not everybody. You're the individual. And you don't need everybody. You just need enough. And enough is not like a majority. Enough is just like those in small uh, a small number in positions of power that are willing to toe the line. Very dangerous. Anyway, so yeah, I guess this, um, I like it when there, you got fascinating stuff like this you're looking at, especially this, this episode. The things with gluttony and all that, those are kind of funny and all. But when you looked at it with King Bradley and the fact that this is not a conspiracy. This is just, this is actually how their power is set up. This is their power structure. That's, that's amazing. That, that makes something kind of interesting to talk about because we do have, you know, that exists even in today's world. You can see in certain countries, and uh, it definitely existed in the past. I mean, World War II is like a great example. A horrific example, but uh, you know, a perfect example of how that can happen. Especially what, not necessarily World War II, but what led to it. And the reason why you had these these creatures were again, you know, because <clears throat> all right, I better stop talking talk about that. Let me go take a break real quick. I'll be right back and uh, yeah, continue on with this. Thanks. Let's. Uh,
Get started. It's the time right now, 1:36. <clears throat> and yeah, I gotta read <laughs> faster. Yeah, like I said, the more you do this, the, more, the faster it gets. Sometimes uh, stuff goes fast. This, this one took a little, um, like when Rat, um, um, Envy was talking about what happened with the the Civil War or the riot that happened in uh, Ishvaya, like talking about that. That was interesting. Then the um, you know, talking with the the upper ranks about what, what was happening with the military. That was interesting. Um, a lot of it, though, was, yeah, man, you know, this, this was kind of a complicated episode. I mean, a lot of stuff was happening, but I liked it. Like I said, you got, like, one, two, three, maybe four stories going. Uh, technically three, I guess. Yeah, four stories kind of going in parallel right now because they kind of got split into different areas. And But they, you know told enough on each. That was really good storytelling and um, when you look when I thought when you think about it. Uh, they did quite well in, you know, keeping kinda going back and like looking, okay, here's what happened with Gluttony, here's what's happening with Ed and uh, and the Prince. Here's what's uh, here's what's happening with Mustang and uh, Joan Bradley and then King Bradley. And then here's what's happening with Hawkeye. You know, just and also Scar and May Lee. But I mean <clears throat> <sighs> Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
あーこいつ、うん、さっきあっちの廃工場あたりで見かけたよなんかでかい鎧が連れて歩いてたな鎧もしや昨日の<笑>許せませんあの鎧そうめんをさらうなんてごめんまずは正しい<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>確かホムンクルスと呼ばれていたホムンクルス不死身に近い再生力を持っているうかつに手出しはできんうかつにうかつに不死身願ってもない追いかけましょう言っただろう簡単に行く相手ではないぞなぜあの二人が一緒に<笑>どうしたここ変ですこの国に入ってからずっと違和感があったのですが違和感違和感これは足の下を。たくさんの何かがはいずり回っているはいずりはいずりどうしたの寒い大丈夫の仕業だよモンバンモンバンの仕業モンバンおでといれば殺されないよまだ先だよお父様だっけ飲まれた人たちの行き先を知ってるよね<笑>お父様何でも知ってる兄さん生きてるよね兄さん
合成物合成物これは一体合成物キメラというやつだ合成銃合成銃キメラフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフォーメタルアルケミストフ
そこに横になってうんあのこれは楽にしていたまえすぐに終わる何をする気ですかあの死体は Interesting. 12人目か<笑>我が奮闘を受け入れるのはおおナイス奮ね我が奮ねを受け入れるのは君か君か<笑>ラフ賢者の意志は多くの人間の魂が含まれた高エネルギー体だ賢者の意志は多くの人間の魂が含まれた高エネルギー人間の体へ入ると拒絶反応で暴れ回り肉体を人間の体へ入ると気を大反応拒絶リチェクション拒絶拒絶反応拒絶反応で暴れ暴れ暴れ暴れ,暴れ回り暴れ回り大いに暴れ回れ乗ってるとする乗っ取ろうテイクオーバー肉体を乗っ取ろうとする石による破壊と補修は元の体が死ぬか賢者の石に打ち勝つまで繰り返された。やがて素晴らしい新たな人類だおめでとう君はこの国を導くリーダーとして選ばれたのだ<笑>デッドこの,この国を導くリーダーとして選ばれたあのお方が必要な全てを用意してくださる君の名は今日から。キングブラッドレイ残ったのはたった一つの魂とフンドの感情のみ残ったのは一つ魂とフンドラフフンドの感情のみフンドの感情のみこの魂が賢者の石にされた誰かのものなのか元々の己のものなのかもう元々己よ己の己の己のものわからんのだ、うん、元は人間だというのならホムンクルスとしてではなく人間として生きることはできないのですか,か,か人間に戻れと,戻れと無理だなこの体は人間を超越した。超越したはるかに優れた品種だ君たち人間が人間であることに誇りを持っている。我々にもホムンクルスとしてのプライドがあるあ,あの女もそのプライドを持って死んでいっただろう<笑>おいで応急処置だ
first aid, right? Emergency, emergency. Oh, Q, Shochi. Oh, Q, Shochi. Arigato. この辺にあるのは全部集めたよ。うん。これみんな癖癖すの。うん。せ、ゼルクシス、ゼルクシス。ああ。遺跡の神殿にあった大壁画の一部だ。遺跡の神殿、あ、いや、ルーンズオブザ
お前らはそこに飛び込む失敗したらどうなるリバウンドだ、うん、術の失敗は行使したものに全て跳ね返る行使術の失敗は行使したいのと全て、うん、この場合は俺にな俺は錬金術に関しては門外観だ門外観関して門外観だ任せようよしでエンビてめえに聞いておきたいことがあるうん俺が見たクセルクセスの大壁がうん雑っとこんな感じだ。雑っと。おまか。うん。for the most part、uh,。briefly approximate。okay。雑っとこんな感じだ。気になるのはこの記号。紙を表す文字を上下ひっくり返したもの上下上下ひっくり返したうんああ、うん、そして二頭の竜これは完全なる存在を示すつまり神を地に落とし自らが完全な存在となるって意味だ大それたことを考えるものだな大それた大それたことを考えるもの考えただけならいい問題は欠けていたこの部分だこれは賢者の石を示す。賢者の石の材料は生きた人間そうだなエンビーああそうだよあれほど栄えたクセルクセスの国が栄えた栄えたあれほど先へたスルクシスの国が、うん、一夜にしてなぜ滅んだ国民の行方はここに遺跡の一部があるのは証拠隠滅のためじゃないのかそう証拠隠滅別に証拠隠滅証拠隠滅のためじゃないお前らクセルクセス国民全員賢者の石にしちまったな誰がやった自身を連成したのは誰だ国民全員を賢者の石にしてその強大な力を手に入れ Yeah, so you kind of already know that the, that the central city is already kind of laid out as a the symbol anyway so it's likely they're going to be using that as the ultimate
whoever they are. <clears throat> Hello. お前の言う。お父様か。そいつはお前ら古文クリスを使ってこの国で癖る癖滅亡の再現。滅亡。滅亡。とやろうとしてるんじゃないのか。再現。やろうとしてるんじゃない。ここから出られたら教えてやるよ
お前のお前を待ってる大事な人たちがいる国だろう生きてここから出て自分で伝えろよ。何かに似てると思ったのまるで神への祈りじゃないか精神によってつながっている俺の肉体の一部は真理の扉の前にある精神の導くまま全てを委ねて委ねて一冊の他人に。うん。委ねる。すべてを。扉に。へえ。体を取り戻しに来たんじゃないのか。この中にお父様がいるんだね。いるよ。ここに兄さんの手がかりが。I'm wondering what's going to happen to Gluttony when this door opens. Not the physical door there, but that door that Edward just opened in, inside the, the door of, tru、uh, door of um, truth. I kind of want to know what happens next. <laughs> Actually, I really want to know what happens next.
幻影は炎の揺らめきに似てうん実際には存在しないように幻影は その形を捉えることは難しい。うん。そして炎は時としてうん。次回鋼の錬金術師フルメタルアルケミスト第二十七話狭間の宴。ザムの縁だが歌げザムの歌げ自らの中にある闇を自らの中にある闇を恐れてはいけないこう。Awesome。Okay, now it's done. Let's go with uh, the. Come back here. Turn up the volume real quick. Okay, so time's about. Let's see, it's 11:30 here. All right, so that's it. That's it for the full metal alchemist. As far as these let's reads are concerned. Um, so I, like I said, I was just gonna be the, doing the two seasons. I can never see myself doing all five seasons. This is a really good show. So. <laughs> I can imagine that, um, but yeah, I want to go switch. I gotta switch gears. I'm gonna switch back to Harry Potter, so I'm gonna be doing um, book. Uh, book. It's kind of funny. Like I get something like this, and I kind of, you know, again, I can imagine. I can see again, imagine doing all five seasons. Similar like with I can imagine with um, doing um, um, like five seasons for uh, Attack on Titan. Again, these are. This is actually a really good show. Now I'm I'm impressed. I mean I, I didn't see like the the first one of my I didn't think it would be like something this exciting, but uh Yeah, it's a really really fun show. And it doesn't matter if it's anime, I mean everyone makes it you know you know, again it just that just happens to be a form it's being presented in. You know, you read stuff like, you know, comic books or light novel or light novels, um, T V shows, cartoons. It doesn't matter the format. Again, you can tell a great story despite the format. And um you know, and you know, so, so there's, you know, don't worry about the gatekeeping happening there. And um, this is just a really good story. Now, I'd, <laughs> I wondered, like, I know they made these into live action movies. I hadn't watched them, but I imagine, like, every live action movie they do in Japan, it probably sucks. <laughs> like, like you just, I couldn't. I tried to watch the first part of Attack on Titan. It's like, God, I couldn't even get past that opening stuff. It just is horrible. <laughs> it's almost like they got people who didn't care anything about at all about the, you know, the sh the source material and just wanted to just get a somebody from Johnny's Entertainment to star in a, you know, and just star in it and didn't even bother with. And there's all sorts of problems with it. I'm, <clears throat> and it could it could become a pretty good show though. I mean, like I there's nothing stopping me from being live action. Just that, you know, again, I think like there there are better ways you can approach it. Um, it, hmm, yeah, yeah, um, man, yeah, again, it's, it's just that, like, again, they, they try to do like they do in all these dramas, you know, again, people stand around in a circle gawking at, you know, just two people talking, it just, it just doesn't feel right, it's like, it just, something seems off about, you know, that type of setting where, Again, everyone just seems to only be paying attention to these two people, but they have no interest in these two people. So why are they standing around just staring at these two people talking? Right? They should be doing other stuff. It just it, and then of course the you know usually you've seen the way because it's directed badly, then it doesn't feel like everything. It's like everybody's waiting around for their one thing to start doing something, then they go and do it. It's, it's like badly choreographed fighting. You know, everyone's waiting around on the side till they get. Oh, now it's my turn to attack, so they then get into fight, so the the uh, <laughs> the hero can defeat them. Um, it's sort of that way, but again, it's also the same thing happens with conversation, where um, 
yeah, just not a fan of how live, you know, again, some of those live action movies. Uh, it, it, maybe it's just because of how they're approaching the fantasy genre. I could be, could be off. Because there's been some really good live action movies. I just mean live action adaptions, ad ad adaptations. How's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, um, quite good. Um, yeah, it's, I can, it would be interesting to see this. Maybe I will try to check out the, I will try to check out the, the movie, see how that turned out. Um, I just, I'm just going to assume it's a, not a very good movie. <laughs> it, because usually that's a pretty safe assumption when it comes to, um, certain live action adaption adaptations. Although that's not always the case, especially I mean they're trying to they've done real well in the U.S. about adapting comic books. They've shown like it could be easily be done if you if you but you got to take it you know take the source material seriously. I mean make it a serious movie, but just take it serious and don't try to like say oh no one's gonna believe this. It's like no have fun, trust in the audience, and um, you know definitely give it to someone in the, a director and a cinematographer they can trust in what they can do and then obviously the production company can create something also as well from that um, yeah Marvel's shown it can work and work quite well I mean and you can then take that from you know I guess it's similar in the 90s when they were adapting some comedies and but they wanted to you know they were that wasn't you didn't have to be faithful just so you can actually have fun adapting what was supposed to be you know kind of goofy 30 minute throwaway uh, sitcoms, well, not necessarily sitcoms. Like you know, you can do, you, they did that with Adam's Family when and it was actually a pretty good adaptation. Adaptation, and then um, I think Brady Bunch were really good. That's more of a parody of it. I, again, that was quite fun. Um, that was just, but it was just a different take on how to do stuff. And you can do movies that are like The Fugitive was a really good way of taking something that was from the source material and creating something that was completely new that was faithful. You know, not faithful, but paid. Uh, homage to the uh, source, you know. So yeah, I can see you can do that as well. You know, it just depends on how you want to approach it. But worst, worst thing you can do is do something that's made for like complete fan service. So that's kind of was a problem with the Harry Potter, the first two movies of Harry Potter's. Like they were trying to do too faithful to the book and just hit all the notes of the book, and then it just it felt stale. Then you get someone like um, uh, Alphonse Cuarón, I think that's how you say his name, and he took it from a different view. Um, he created a world that felt lived in and paid homage to the stories instead of being, they, he wasn't bound to it. And by that, he actually revealed more of the story in a way, in a medium that movies were meant to reveal. So you tell a story differently in books than you would in graphic novels than you would in movies. Although there could be lots of similarities between the three, but it, you got to take it, you got to approach it a little differently. Same thing, you would do it differently as a series. So if like Harry Potter is a series, you, you really want to treat that differently. Um, and it can still be a good, engaging story, um, and it, you know you would definitely want it to feel like this, like a school year is passing, is a good way of approaching it. Um, Grant Alfonso was really good because he used the Whomping Well and the definitely made sure time was passing because they showed the seasons passing in a way, and it didn't feel like oh, here's the end of one part, here's another. It felt like it, it flowed in the way that he visually presented that, and so I can see that can be done. It can be done. I just I don't think I've seen it done with Japanese movie production companies. <clears throat> uh, Nadir Fa, why Japanese people can't speak English? Well, that's a odd question. Japanese people, plenty of Japanese people speak English. So I don't, I don't, I don't get that question. Um, now, a majority, a lot of actors in Japan probably don't speak English. But then again, do they need to speak English when they're filming in Japanese? Well, that said, though, if you want to hire a Japanese actor who's like, like from Japan, not someone who's like um, from what's the term for it? Like uh, heritage, not necessarily heritage. Yeah, the heritage is having to be Japanese. Yeah, that's I, I. You know, it's just a. You know, I. You know, it's like I said, I'm not very good at speaking Japanese, so it'd be like. So I can understand that. It's like it takes a lot of effort, and if you didn't put forth the, uh, you know, that particular set of effort, you were aiming it somewhere else. You know, because you only got a certain amount of time per day and a certain amount of days in your life. Um, yeah, I can imagine, like, you know, your level, your English ability would be low. Mm. <clears throat> mm. But you just didn't need it. <laughs> you know, do, do, do you need a high English level to be a successful actor in Japan? No. You need a good ability to act and, you know, obviously, a, uh, looks really, 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 really help and talent. 
and whatnot. Um, you know, English speaking, it depends on, again, it just depends on the actor or actress. That's all. You, know? you got, you, I'm, you watch TV, you got plenty of people who are, you know, like that one lady who does interviews for movie, for movies. And, um, yeah, her English is impeccable. You know, she could easily, you know, play in English roles if she, if she wanted to do that. But I think she's got her, she does quite well in what her job happens to be. So, yeah, it just depends. Um... Yeah, how come American people, how come American actors can't speak Japanese? You know, you might as well ask that. You know, it's like they might know, you might have some American actors that know some Japanese, but most of them just don't know Japanese. That's why they don't star in Japanese movies. You know, I'm pretty sure if you had, like, if um, somebody like Schwarzenegger, not maybe Schwarzenegger, a bad example, but let's say, uh, you know, Tom, if Tom Cruise could speak Japanese, um, he might be doing a lot more Japanese movies. You know, instead of just one where a majority of what he's doing is in English, was saying a couple of words now and again in Japanese. There's, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, if having a, yeah, yeah, that means, yeah, you probably get some good. Uh, I don't know. I mean, even I don't know. They're not really keen on hiring too many foreign actors that speak Japanese. Uh, no, no, you occasionally see on dramas it pops up. I just don't see it as in headlining roles. Um, let's see, HSK Wiker. He's learning English. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. But again, I'm just trying to learn Japanese, so that's I'm not worried about like well though uh, how well people speak it or whatnot. It just just the nature of the system, you know. And it, uh, plus, it's maybe it's like how people approach it. And, mm, it, it I'm talking out of my ass. I'll be honest. I'll be honest here. I'm just talking out of my ass because I'm not really sure like what goes into who decides if they want to hire, put a foreigner on a or a non-Japanese person speaking. You know that maybe learn Japanese as a secondary language or th or third language or more. Then we you know why whether they want to hire them to be put them in a TV show or a movie. <laughs> Usually, I've seen them with. Mainly, they'll do those just hire. Them. If they hire a foreign actor, then it's they're dubbing over their line. So the, the obvious person is obviously speaking their native language, and then but somebody else is talking over them in Japanese. So I mean that's very commonplace, and Japanese people are perfectly fine with that. They have no problem. They don't care if the person, the actor, isn't speaking Japanese. They're quite comfortable with the idea. Whereas an American audience would probably not hate that idea. They would prefer someone speaking English bad, badly, if you will, or with a very strong accent than to dub over them. They would almost always prefer that. <clears throat> um, there have been some exceptions, but for the most part, they would just prefer that. They don't like the idea of dubbing over voices all that well, all that much. <sighs> all right, I think that's about it. So thank you all very much. This is a uh, uh, Nuke Marine. This has been Let's Read Japanese. Yeah, so again, tomorrow, starting, probably tomorrow, starting with Harry Potter, book three. Harry Potter, book three. And I'll probably do the first two chapters because they're each about yeah, 30, roughly about 30, 35 minutes each. So they're not too, so it'll be, um, if all goes well, it depends on how the, the timing goes. If it feels like it's going much too long, then I'll bring it back. And again, I'm just going to do half of Harry Potter, book three. Then moving on to anime, then back to Harry Potter, then moving on to anime, then going on to drama. So anyway, that's the current plan as far as this is all going. And yeah, and then also I'll be doing, instead of doing the whole Anki part with here with Kanji, I'll, I'll start doing a let's read of news. Let's read the news, if you will, in Japanese, where I'll be doing um, the Yahoo News, the top news story, news clips. They're not really news stories, they're news clips. They're like a minute to two minute long at most. And uh, but they have transcripts, so I'll be able to read the transcript while the news is playing, and just try to do it like that for fun. See how that works. Yeah, um, should be interesting. And as always, like I'm still be doing, like I said, I'll, I'm still going to be studying, you know, Japanese on my own time, on off off show. So I mean, Shinkansen Master, Hiragana Kanji, these three right here. Again, these are structured sources, but the unstructured, this is the big one, that's the important one, Morph Man. That's the one that, you know, I'm trying to, my goal right now is to get up to 2,000 words in Morph Man. And those are, that means that that's from 20 different Let's Reads that I've done. Now I'm up to 16. I think this might be the 17th, but I'm up to 16 Let's Reads 
So this will be, if I just got up to here right now, it'll be 1,600 words. But again, I'm still doing let's read. So by the time I caught up to what my let's reads are, hopefully I'll be at 2,000. And then that's when I'm going to bring into Tango 2. So anyway, there's a structured, there's a structured reason for what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. But um, part of it is like, I think Kim and, was it Kim and Duro? When he asked me like how to write QQ shell or ambulance. So I wrote, you know, QQ shell. You know, I, I just like having that ability. It's not a very complicated skill to have, you know. I know how to write individual kanji. Cool. And then also when I know words, I know which kanji go in the word. So therefore, I know how to write the words. That's just how you do. So I don't need to write QQ shell all the time. As you know, like how to write those three characters that go into QQ shell. And also just know, you know what three characters go into QQ shell. There. And then when someone asks me to write something, I can probably write it out. I might have to think about it, but yeah, I can do it. Uh, what is Morph Man? That's just it right here. This is to collect. It's basically like sentence mining, but with um, automated sentence mining, looking for words in sentences. Morph Man, what it'll do is it'll scan text, and then let me just show you. It will scan. I give it like a bunch of sentences from the stuff I've read. Okay, so that's lines of text. I also gave it a list of words that I know, like from all the Tangles stuff I've studied and grammar stuff that I study, and. It also and also stuff that I've already learned from Morphman. So it scans through the sentences and it it can break down sentences, look for words, and then it categorizes that and then it says, okay, which sentences have one new word that I don't that I likely don't know. All right, so it highlights that. Is it a sentence that's too long or too short? It gives it a little negative scoring on there. So if it's just the right length, that's a positive. If it just has one morph, one unknown thing in the sentence, that's a positive. And then if, if there's other sentences that have that, that have, if that word appears in all these other sentences a lot of times, so that's a count. So that also makes it more higher priority. So is it a frequently used word in, this, in all the sentences I give it? Is it in a sentence that is not too long, not too short? And is it the only new word in a sentence? Well, then, hey, let's learn that word is what it does. And then, um, you know, it just keeps doing it. So those are like what's called an I plus one or a T one or whatever. It's just a one unknown thing. That you're learning that one new and it's one new thing to learn and it's pretty useful on that um and it, the benefit is like it's coming from material that i've personally experienced or read let me just show you real quick since it's your first time so it looked like something like this so i, I see like the this is like a shiki and this is in so this is a drinking party so this is from the tv show do you say no kizuna which was i did a let's read of that way 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 back when so wine no shiin kaijo. So this is like a drinking, uh, a wine tasting gathering or uh, kai, uh, wine tasting place. So shiin, okay, or shiin. Sorry. So I, I would have gotten that wrong. So yeah, tameshi shiin. Um, yeah. Now I would mark it wrong because I I pronounced it wrong. It should have been shiin. And then, but yeah, there's the definition right there. And if I want to, here's some extra. You know, shiin dekimas. Free samples, basically wine tasting or beer tasting. Yep. All right. Let me mark that wrong just for SMGs. Sheen. I should have got that right. That was a stupid thing to get wrong. Um, uh, sarake dasu. Uh, sarake dasu. Jibun no haji. Oh, so this is like revealing a weakness or revealing something embarrassing. Sarake dasu. Um, yeah, sarake dasu. Lay bear. Devote. Sarake dasu. Alright, cool. Or at City Owl, this is like to kind of like be commiserate or be at the same at the same level for commensurate, I guess would be a better, good word. No, no. At City Owl, yeah, commensurate. Yeah, there we are, commensurate. Um, yeah, anyway, so anyway, it's just like that. And this is again from Zero's Familiar. This is just talking about maybe the value of a sword. I think uh, I don't think that's for the sword. It doesn't matter, but again, it's from something that I've read. It's you know, I knew everything in the sentence at the time I was learning except for this word, so that's why I learned what the word was. That's it. I'm just slowly learning words from. It's kind of a fun way of learning words, I think. It's a good thing to start when you're about 2,000 words. Like you finished, let's say, Tango N4 at the minimum. Maybe Tango N3. You know, after that, and this, it just makes it where you're doing Morph Man like this. It just makes it a lot easier, and you're just kind of, you know, learning new words, but you're also doing sentences as well. It's it's fun. Cool. I'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll give that a good. Usagi. <laughs> All right.
Cool beans. All right, guys. Talk to you later. This is Nick Green. See you a bit. See you tomorrow. Oh, let me say thanks for watching. Cool. Thanks for watching.